All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Estancia La Pacha. And we are finishing up this plowing exercise. Uh, I think I'm going to need to get a repair tool to fix that little spot there that I messed up. Now, here's a question. When you've done... Ah, a leaf bug just landed on my... Get out of here. Stink bug on my screen. Get out. Get. When you uh, use that repair tool, does it take it back to what the map was originally or to what you've repaired the map to be? One way to find out. And I suppose since it's grass, it doesn't really matter because it's going to go right to the edge of the field anyway. So I guess we don't have to really do anything with it. But I've kind of made a mess over there. I think this is going to turn out nice, Mr. Micah. <laughs> don't you? Especially with all that cotton coming in, we'll be fine. We'll I be, hope so. We'll be just fine. The leaf bug went back on my screen. Oh, no, I'm in big trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> There's no sense in both of us getting in trouble. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. So we are, uh, I mean, what do you want to do next with the money? Do you want to go to horses right away or do you want to try to? I think we should try to get field three first. Okay. Because we also need to get the equipment to do the horses. Right. But if we had field three, that's a that would be a really big uh, uh, cotton harvest. Okay. Right. So we expand. That's the next step. I was probably going to take two two rounds to do that. Well, I, I can also play uh, do some do some uh, work on the side. So at least by maybe by the time you come back in to play again, I'll have at least two hundred some thousand. Okay. So. That we can pick up field three. How much is the field? Two hundred eighteen. So we'll need. We probably should keep it safe and do like two seventy or two fifty. What do you think? So we have the extra money for the seed and all that stuff that we need to do it. Yeah. Well, I was hoping. Oh, I'm hoping that these harvest too. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, probably three hundred thousand would be good. Yeah, because I think we get about. We seem to get about one hundred and fifty off the field. It's about 50000 a bale. So that seems like that's probably the best way to go with that. Cool. But I did kind of plow all the way out to the road, which I didn't mean to do. I was trying to stop the tractor, and I pressed the wrong button, and it kept rolling. So I messed up. Sorry, Mr. Micah. It's all right. I got all next week to try to fix everything. Great. <laughs> no. I mean, you might have to paint it on, but I think we can just use that that roller. I don't think... Well, but it's probably cheaper, to, honestly, to paint it on than it is to use the roller. Because the roller is going to be like $600 to rent. And I don't know how much the terrain tool costs to paint, but it's probably not too much to do little spots. Well, I personally don't like the fact that that, that, that doesn't turn into grass. Yeah, it's kind so of so. I would almost, I would almost just go through the whole farm, and then re replant everything with grass. Okay. Like this. If I would have known, if I would have known, then I would have, then I would have plowed this whole area back here and then reseeded it with uh, grass seed oh. before we started. Oh, so that we didn't have to do this now. Yeah. Though you hate to, you know, I think this way is a, is a little bit more economical because at least you're not wasting the seed where we put the buildings, you know. So in some ways. Well, but if Uncle Carlos was paying for it, then he's good. He doesn't care. You know, this is one of the best harvesters for in the cab. Because you can line it up. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I need to just make this wide. So I, I do feel like I'm sitting off to the right of here. Really? 
Well, oh, because it's bad. not center lined. Um, the the harvester, even though they're centered, you actually have one picker on the left and one picker on the right of the center line. Mm -hmm. So you will be off kilter a little bit. Well, no, I'm. I, it feels like I'm just to the right of the steering wheel. Oh, weird, huh? I don't know why that is. It just feels that way. Weird. Um, let's see. This takes some time, huh? So I'm going to go ahead. Once we sell our first bale, I'm going to plant grass here. And we'll get that started. Uh, but I have to wait until we sell that bale because... Oops, that's not what I wanted. I'll lower that. There we go. Oh. Uh, because I don't, we're so low on cash right now. I don't want to waste the the money. I have to rent a planter. What we could rent, well, we can rent one of those weeders because the weeder plants grass, and it's really wide. Oh, are they cheaper? Mm-hmm. Yep, and it it's really wide, so it it doesn't require a ton of horsepower. So it's kind of good oh, all the okay. way around. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about that one green one that's real cheap. No, we'll just do that. We can just do that because, uh, like I said, that it's wider than the green one. It's it's like it's like uh, three meters wide or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's much wider. Oh, you mean the cultivators that do that? Right. No, I'm actually talking about the, the there's a weeder that seeds. Oh, okay. And it's cheap to rent. I think it's like two or three hundred dollars to rent, but it's it's like eight meters wide. Oh wow! So we can just use that to plant the grass seed because it'll be cheap. It'll be cheap to rent, and it's it it. Uh, and it's wide, so it seeds it quickly. You'll see. I think it's the one. I don't. Did we? We never owned a weeder, did we? Um, in seventeen, we did. But not nineteen. No. Yeah, that you'll because see. Because it it almost doesn't make sense to own a weeder. Right. If you 19. just if you spray it. Yeah, because you can just let the weeds grow, until until you're almost ready to harvest. Right, and then, then they're easier to see too, right? When they when yeah. they show up, they're easier to see. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to have a weeder. Right. Oops. Thank you, Giants. <laughs> so thank you, Giants. I still nick the edge. I do like these tractors, and I I will say I know the terrain's not three D, but they have done a good job of having the tractors lean into it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in some ways they, they kind of worked around that. I I have a thought that 17 looked more 3D. Really? Yeah. Huh. I think the, the painted grass texture that we've used here is horrible looking. That's for sure. <laughs> but once the grass grows on it, it looks okay. Just see some of the other ones. Like, are they worse? Yeah, they're really patchy and... Hmm. The one thing I don't the one thing that's kind of sucks is they don't give us the ability to put down bushes. Like they're not placeables. I'm sure they'll make placeables yeah. available, but like you can get rid of them, but you can't place them. Right. Do you have a full bale yet or no? No. Hmm. I got I'm, I'm good. I thought we had 3 last time. But is field yeah, four only too. worth like one? Uh, I thought we got two out of it last time, but I, or I mean, one and a half. One and a half. We sold three bales today, and we've only done one harvest, right? Yeah. But then again, that field's a lot bigger, so maybe we'll still get it out of it. I don't know. We'll see. Well, let's see. I'm at seventeen thousand. I got seventeen thousand liters off of that off of four. Okay. And I think it's twenty. Right, twenty is the full bale. Yep. If you put that one on the side of the road, I'll pick it up when you're done. And we'll sell it right. We'll sell it right away. I shall poop it out at once. Uh. <laughs> How full are you? At 17, okay. or 18 now. Okay. 1,500 more to go. 1,500 more to go. 
Wait, no. Not, oh, 1,500, yeah. Yes. For some reason, I thought you were, I was thinking 15,000. No, not that much. <laughs> so what are you doing for Christmas, Mr. Micah? Uh, I have no idea. We haven't been family stuff, so. Like, just kind of, what happened? Uh... Probably because we don't drink or nothing. We just don't get invited. <laughs> Little Christmas spirit. <laughs> yeah. And plus, if it's somebody's house I can't get into, you know, we just oh, don't true. get invited. True. I mean, do your folks go somewhere, though, or no? No. Now, you, no. Have, a, you have a brother, don't you? Yeah, Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, wow. He's far away. Yeah. Wow, wow. How often does he come back? Maybe once every 10 years. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? It's expensive, though, but still, it's like your folks. What the heck? Uh, his friend just flew from Cleveland to Phoenix. Oh, Round really? trip, 200 bucks. Round trip? Yep. What the heck? How long was he there for? Uh, I think it was a weekend. Huh, I wonder if that's just because it was like for the weekend. That's weird. That seems like way low. I know. He couldn't believe himself. I was looking at Florida pricing. It was like 380 I think. But that was during the week. So that probably makes a difference, you know. Because I had to look, look into it for a client. Oh, bail poop. Yep. All right. $50,000 just dropped out of the back of that harvester. <laughs> you think it's 50? Uh-huh. Yeah, it seems, it seems to be a 45, 50 right around there. Yep. Now, since it's been a since we already sold one load, I don't know if it's going to be lower than that, but I think that's still where we're going to be at. Maybe, maybe not. Turn this around. I wonder if these things really do turn like this. Oh, I think they do. <coughs> this is... I'm pretty sure they do. This thing like turns on a dime. Well, for that reason though, they want them to be able to turn sharp on the field so that you can, you know, get the harvesting done easy. I don't know if they're able to do it in like one pass, you know, if they have to back up or, or whatever to reset, but I think that's how they do it. Oh. What happened? Oh, just Part of my body wants to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Is it now? Does it cramp and stuff or no? Yeah, that stinks. Why? Thank you, sir. That's so. Cool. Oh my God! That's right. Yeah, it's perfect. Now she's not going to cut the other. Half that's fine. That's fine. One more. Hmm. What do you got there? Mom made homemade pizzas tonight, Sofos. Ooh, that sounds good. Is it like two? Oh, they're so. It's called. It's like you go by the Sofos. Yeah, they have the crust and stuff already pre-made and. Kind of like Boboli. Do you remember? Uh -huh. Do you remember Boboli pizza? <laughs> or what was the other? Tombstone was the other one, right? Remember Tombstone? Tombstone. Uh -huh. You're like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh, it's, hot. it's okay. I like the red, take a bite. I like the Red Baron pizzas, but they're horrible for you. Like like oh, the, those are pretty nasty. Yeah, like the labels and stuff, they're nasty. They're they're really really salty. These here you buy the crust and then you um no Siri, I was not talking to you, idiot. <laughs> you buy the crust, the cheese, the sauce and you, you kind of put them together yourself. Right. And um What's nice is the crust is kind of thin, 
And if you put your oven on real hot, you can make them so they're like, like a, imagine a crispy thin pizza that's double thick but still crispy and crunchy. Right. I know some people don't like thin crust, but oh man. No, I like thin crust. I like like uh, we get to, we have Donatos. You you probably have Donatos too, right? Because you're by Michigan. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Donatos is a Michigan thing. But maybe they're based in Columbus. I don't know, but they're good. Donatos is like that thin crust stuff. Man, is it good? Man, that makes me want pizza. I'm super hungry right now. <laughs> and the food talk continues, folks. Originally, I was just going to have some hot chocolate for dinner, but. Ooh, that sounds very not filling. Sounds yummy, though. I could go for some hot chocolate right now. This thing is amazing. The what's the cotton harvester? Yeah, it just it just like spins. <laughs> Makes it le- easy to get turned around, right? Oh yeah. All right, so I'm gonna f- I'm almost done with this. I'm gonna um, I'll t- return the plow to the shop, and then I'm gonna sell that bale, and then I'll rent the cedar that we need. Um. That's awesome. Thank you. No, I got water. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really interested to see what that bale sells for. I think it's going to be 50. <laughs> that pizza sounds good. It's all crunchy. I think Simone passed out. She's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, she's probably beat. Yeah. Well, it's the middle. It's really, It's late there. It's after midnight. Right, or almost midnight. Okay, so that should be enough to do spinning without having to stop. Oh, a follow. Thank you, Dragonborn. You got a follow already? <laughs> yeah, we're not even on Twitch right now, but we're getting follow. It happens. Sometimes the the followers come in on the like while we're streaming or recording, and it just it goes blue, blue, blue on my headset. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I had people even yell at me about that. I'm like, you know what? If if that makes you unhappy, like it shows up once every hour or less, eh, this is probably not the right channel for you. <laughs> I definitely don't do things perfectly. I try my best, but <laughs> not everything's going to be perfect. So, No, I just got it ready. What happened? Oh, mothers being mothers. Ah, me Madri. Yeah. I wonder how much one of those really weighs in real life. What the those bale, cotton, cotton bales? bales? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're heavy, but it depends on how wet they are, and you know, like what the moisture level is and stuff. Uh, but I, yeah, they're probably pretty heavy. But then again, it's cotton. But then again, any material that you have that's compressed and like that, it's going to weigh a lot. Like thousands of pounds, probably. Oh! Uh, uh. What are you doing? Oh, uh, messing up. <laughs> uh oh. It's like the wheels didn't spin back fast enough. Oh, that's okay. Whatever. Almost like a lag spike there. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Pardon me. So what's going on for you this week coming up? A lot of stuff. I've got band, yeah. band practice Tuesday night. My birthday is Wednesday. I've got um, two photo shoots on Tuesday. I've got an comp- uh, old friend that ha- needs help with uh, setting up some website stuff on Monday. Um, so it's just it's going to be a busy week. The end of the week is a little bit less busy, but I also have a wed- weddings that I have to get done. Um, I'm, one of them I haven't heard from. I'm like, where, I need your address to send you the disc, and there's no response. I don't know what their, oh, wow. their holdup is, but...
I released the video and it had a bunch of views, but I haven't heard from them. I'm like, I need to I need to send you this stuff. And there's no response, so I don't know what to do. I'm just like, okay, well, I'll still get it done before Christmas so that they, if when they're ready to, or when they respond, I'll have it. But it's like kind of like, what are you guys waiting for? Like, don't you want your stuff? But maybe they're busy or they have things going on in life or whatever. True. Well, I never hardly check my email, so I'm just... Right. I mean, I've, they've seen the video, though. That's the weird part, but I don't... I don't know. Doing the best they're I can. they're getting divorced. Huh? <laughs> Jeez, I hope not. It's only been, like, <laughs> three months. I mean... <laughs> you never know, though. <laughs> no, they seem like a really nice couple, so I, I doubt that, but you never know. It has happened. Yeah. We had one. We had one where the we were, you know, like the bride and groom were just like fighting the whole wedding. They were angry with each other. Oh my god! Like just like the cake wasn't right. She was mad about that, you know, and the uh, it was like like the 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 DJ basically was like, I feel like I'm having to give like marriage counseling, and that should not that's not a good thing when you guys are just getting married. Like, but <laughs> hopefully they made it. Oh, why is she getting mad at him if the cake's not right? Well, because he was supposed to handle getting it ordered and stuff. Mm. And they, she doesn't like, she was like, she hates coconut. And the, the person put coconut all over it. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? Which, how do you get that wrong? But, you know, you're a wedding cake maker. How do you get that wrong? But he found it. Yeah, and, like you think when they ordered it, they'd be like, look, no coconut. Right. You she know. probably wrote down no coconut and then couldn't read her own handwriting. and Something coconut. Oh, I guess they want coconut on this. <laughs> so she like freaked out. But yeah, it was an interesting day. And that was the groom. Like he had no friends that came to help him like set up and stuff. He had to set it all up himself. I'm like, these are interesting people. <laughs> like just interesting people. Now, what would be cool is if we could put fences all along here. Wouldn't that be neat? We eventually should be able to put a fence all the way around. Do they have fences for, like, fence posts and stuff for the... In 17, they do, so... Oh, so they probably will for this, too. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Pretty sweet. And if we need to expand, we can always expand into field six. Right. Or four. Right. Six or four. Uh, like you said, three would probably be the next good one, though. Because then we'll get more cotton. So that's what we'll save up towards that. This farm's going well, you know. Can you hear me eating? Mm, yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. A man's got to eat. Well, I hope it doesn't go. I hope the viewers don't hear that all the time. They'll be fine. They all love you, Mr. Micah. Well, and if they don't, then too bad. Well, I've been trying to be as quiet as I can. I've learned people are just, just everybody's Maybe critical of everything. And they'll find if someone's going to be mad at my videos, they'll find something to be mad at no matter what. So whatever, <laughs> whatever. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the semi truck here. And the cotton baler. And we're going to get that bale and sell it. And then I'm going to rent that planter and we'll start planting grass. There it is. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Sounds yummy. It was. It was really good. I'm sinking my truck into the mud. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to get this loaded. Here we go. I'm being a bad boy and driving on the fields, but I guess that's what we got to do, right? You're supposed to dump things at the ends, Mr. Micah. 
Well, you can't handle driving on the field a little bit? It ruins the field. The we have to plow anyway. Well, true. In real life, Remember, I don't think they'd put the trucks on the field just because of soil compaction. But maybe they would. I don't know. Some places they do it. Let's go and sell this bad boy. I think there is something wrong with the sound files. Because this thing just totally changed. Yeah. Like it's I'm, now idling. I'm experiencing it too. Yeah, it's like... It's like, what is going on? Mine's doing it too. Kind of weird. And annoying. It's strange. Strange. So were you a fan of Buck Rogers? Beady, 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 beady. <laughs> What's up, Buck? Um, yeah. Yeah, I did like it when I was a kid. It was exciting. <laughs> Thrilling. Uh, what about, uh, what was the other one, too? Um, Balsar Galactica? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because there was another buck, too. Wasn't that guy's name Starbuck? Yeah, Starbuck, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both did you watch them. the newer one? No, I only saw the original ones. It was an interesting take. How, how long did it last for? <laughs> The new one? Yeah. Oh, this is not where I go. What am I doing? Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it was three seasons, I think. That's actually pretty long. Maybe. Are they still making it? Maybe. No, I don't think so. Uh, they 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 started off strong, but they really got things really confusing towards the end. And it was and it almost seemed like it was rushed. Okay. It really seemed like it should have been a five year series. Oh, so maybe they just realized it wasn't doing well and that they were going to have to can it, so they just tried to get the whole thing done. I think so. That's the way it felt. Like, the one, one uh, series I really did like was Babylon 5. If you can get through the first two seasons, um, you're you're good to go. Is that Star Trek? No, it's, it's Babylon 5. Oh, it's its own thing. Okay. Yeah. The guy designed it as a five-year main arc story. Okay. And then each season had its own arc story, and each episode had its own arc story. Oh, weird. And what was really cool is things that happened in the first and second season, you weren't... Like, they might be just, like, little minor things. Like, you were just kind of like, huh, what was that about? You know, that alien was kind of strange. Okay. But then later on, in season three, they explain what really happened. Oh, that's kind of cool. And you're just like, oh, cool. I liked um, Person of Interest. Oh yeah, that's a good show too. Yeah, that was a great show. I love the way that they... was another show that seemed like it was rushed to the uh, end. Well, rush. they think they had to end it because they just weren't. It wasn't popular enough. They talked about doing another season, but it, it hasn't arrived, and I don't know that it ever will. Like they never did explain what happened to Shaw. Right. Oops. You know, wrong button. Yeah, that was. There I know was... she left the show because she got pregnant, but yeah, that was a creepy character. Shaw was a creepy character. Hmm. But I like that show. It was a good show. Come on, unload. I forgot you have to do this one manually. <laughs> I'm like waiting for it to come out. It's not unloading. Force force load. One of the things I like about this map is we've been on it. 48,000. There you go. We've been, we've been on it long enough that I feel like I kind of know my way around it. You know what I mean? So I don't have to look at the map anymore. I just kind of drive. Well, the thing is, with this map, it's not really that hard. Yeah, it's pretty open. It's a flat square map, basically. Yep. It's like Ohio. Right. You can take multiple ways to get to one place. <laughs> you know, unlike, like, right. uh, if you ever go to Virginia? Yeah, we're West like, Virginia, everything's in the hills. There's only, like, one, one way. way to go. Right, yeah. Somewhere. You want to go you this know, way, you got to go south and then west and then north because you can't. There's mountains everywhere. You can't just go right. straight. Yeah. This way, you could be like, oh, we missed the street. No big deal. We'll just, get it. We'll we'll turn down the next road. Yeah, just go block over. Right. Yeah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so that was yeah. I love these bales. I think we'll have two more bales, Mister Micah. Probably like one and a half was what we had last time, or one and a whatever quarter. Let's see, I'm almost quarters. halfway. And I'm at 13 or 14. Yeah. So maybe like one and a half more. I can never make this curve because of the lag. Just 
taking the semi truck back home. Did we uh, did we miss a fertilization or anything? For what? For this field? No, nope. We were at one hundred percent. No, we did good. We limed it. We plowed it. And two stages of fertilizer. There's our lowly little harvester out there on the field. You look so small from a distance. I can kind of see the cotton through the harvester, though. It's kind of funny. Like from, oh, it's glitching. Yeah, through. from far away it glitches, yeah. All right, so we're going to put this trailer in over here. Backing it in. It's a little tight. I really wouldn't mind trying to get a bigger cedar and a sprayer, though. Yeah, we can work on those things, too. You know, if you want to do that next, we could. Because we've got these little planters, we can get a larger planter if you want. Though, really, our tractors can't handle much larger. Oh, they can't? Okay. But they can handle a little bit larger. Let's We'll see what's available. My truck is slipping. Come on, a little bit back. There we go. Ah, it still grabbed it. Push it back. Come on. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to grab that cedar. We'll get the grass planted and then we'll call it an episode. It won't take long to plant grass with that cedar. Oops. I always forget about these stupid lights with the new system. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right, so let me grab the star. And we're going to grab the weeders. Then let's see which one's seed. This one does. We're going to lease this. Yeah, it's only it's a, it's 1000 a bucks to lease, just under. So, not too bad. And it's nice and wide, but yet it still works with our tractors. So, instead of running a huge cedar, we can just use this. The downside is it only has a 300 capacity, but I think that's all we're going to need, honestly. So, is the pizza still good, Mr. Micah? Oh, yeah. I'm nursing. I'm taking little, little bites, so hopefully I'm not annoying anybody. <laughs> just eat it. Almost home. Man, can you imagine people used to do this by hand? Like the, the harvesting? Yeah, that would take forever. You have to have a lot I mean, of everything. Picking corn, picking cotton. Can you imagine yeah. being out with a sickle doing wheat? Was it, uh, I think, was it Eli Whitney that created the cotton gin? Yeah. And so it made it a lot easier for people to harvest. If I'm not mistaken, he also created, he designed the vacuum brakes for trains. Um, he created a lot of stuff. A lot of good, useful stuff. All right. Um, ah. All right, so let's do this. This shouldn't take long at all. We'll probably have the next bale ready to go. Sweet. Before you're done. <clears throat> so that would put us at 100000 by the end of the episode. Yeah, we're making some serious money. I mean, what we've only been playing for two hours, and we've made almost 300000 Well, really one crop cycle, so one hundred and fifty. 
140. But with that other the other crop that we had to sell was up to 300. So cotton is now profitable for those of you that were asking. Yes, it's worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, but we do need to get. So like I said, I think we'll turn four into an oat field and we'll make three cotton because uh, we'll need oats for the horses. And at that point, we'll also need to probably buy a storage shed to store the. Or we can. Yeah, we'll just use. We'll use an auger wagon. As I say, they do have a hay bar hay barn now. The hay loft. Um, it's a hay barn. So the only thing we'd have to store is uh, is uh, straw bales. You can't or straw we bales. Just buy them. You can, I don't think you can straw. Oh, can you straw bale store bales in it or no? The the hay loft mm -hmm. or the hay hay barn? No, it's just loose hay. So we'd have to do a loading wagon to to. It's deliver. like yeah, yeah, like a loading wagon. Because they need. But hay what I'm saying is, maybe what we could do is we could just uh, make hay, and then we could just store some straw bales. Yep. Or a boat. We can just use. I mean, if we're gonna and buy the, sell if, extras. If you're gonna buy the loft, though, you might as well just get a loading wagon and use that. Because the loading wagon will also allow you to put the straw in the horse pen without having to buy one of those choppers. So oh, okay. let's just get a loading wagon. We'll we'll collect the we'll we'll collect the hay and we'll collect the the straw with the loading wagon, and then we'll so, we'll store those in the 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 uh, straw barn. We have a plan, folks, and it's a good one. It might not work, but we got one. <laughs> no, it'll work. <laughs> Did they have a straw barn, hay barn in the last version of the game, or was it a mod? No, I don't think so. I think it was straw. Okay. Because that really makes the game a little bit easier because you don't have to buy all the bailing equipment then. You can do things on not on the cheap necessarily because the loft plus the collection wagon cost as much as a bailing setup. But if you don't want to deal with the bailing, mm -hmm. you know. It, well, what's nice, the nice thing too is we can, we can uh, um, just buy the bales for now because, you know, we don't have that many horses. Right. We don't have that many horses. I mean, we don't have any right now, but... I mean, I would still go for that setup so you can feed them yourself. I think what's the most we can have? Eight, eight right now? I think eight's the max mm -hmm. number. Yeah. But they do eat quite a bit. I know it's 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 kind of slow, but they do eat quite a bit, so it would be nice to be able to do that. We'll, we'll see. You're right, but for now we can just do the bales. We can just buy stuff. But oats, like I said, we'll get a tipper for the oats, and then we'll get a loading wagon, and we can do hay and straw with that. Because we'll have a constant supply now that we have the grass here. We'll have a constant supply of hay, and if we do oats on that field or whatever crop that produces straw, we'll just do straw crops on four. Then uh, we'll always have material for the horses. Even if we don't store it, we can, like, you know, Feed them up and then sell the remainder and then just keep doing that cycle, you know. When yeah. They, when they get low, we can just keep feeding. We can load them back up again. So that, that'll that work nicely. And if we do that, we don't have to buy a loft if we just feed them every time. So because the crops will grow more often than they need it. So. <laughs> just go ahead and eat it, Micah. Come on. Sorry, I just got I get the hiccups. No choking yourself. Come on. No, I'm done with the pizza. I'm just I got cut the hiccups a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Oops. I missed. So if we decide to start doing a cash crop, what should we do? I mean, anything works. I think the cotton's is kind of our sunflower still the best. Or? Co cotton's kind of our cash crop. No, I think cotton is the best. To okay. be honest with you. Okay. I mean, it seems like that's the best price right now out there. You think it's too high? No, I think it's a good balance. For the amount of work that you have to do and the amount of field space you use, it's it's about right for the fields. Especially as how much this equipment is. Right. Because it's not like we have a smaller piece of equipment to to do the harvesting. This is it. Right. I don't want to break the cedar, but I've seen people do this in real life where they curve. 
they're cedars. I just want I know with the plow you can't do that. Yep, that one load is enough. That seed, like the 300 is enough. So. This is a good way to do this because it's cheap. Now, we done, we're done with this. We do have to plow this in, don't we? What's that? The cotton. We do have to plow afterwards. I don't afterwards, think don't you have to plow after cotton. Oh, you do? Simone's saying yes. She's awake now. <laughs> okay. She shook her head yes. So there is pl there is plowing after cotton. Now she's saying her head no. <laughs> but it's not like sugar cane where it can grow back, but just a dis... I don't know. Check well. We just check this field status because the field status will tell us what it needs. After three crops, it'll definitely need lime. But I don't know if cotton's one of the ones that requires plowing. I think it is, but it may not be. I know sugar beets and corn and potatoes are, but I th I thought that sunflower and cotton were also on that list. But it'll tell you if it does. I'll check. I'll check the status, Micah. Once I'm done, I'm almost finished here. Yeah, no, no worries. I got this last. Just making thing. conversation. <laughs> I got this last little quarter inch here, and I'm pretty much done after one more pass. There we go. All right, so we're done. All right, so that's all seeded with grass. And I'm going to put the seed back over here, and then I'll take this back to the shop, and we'll be done for the night. Um, Mike, are you going to want to keep harvesting, or are you going to? Uh, probably, because I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost done with this uh, field. so. Oh, now here's the thing. it doesn't. Uh, hopefully I get one more, one more out of it. Doesn't look like I can unload the seed from this one. Power <coughs> meter, unfold meter. Nope. So for whatever reason, this one does not allow you to unload it. Well, leave it there. Because uh, if there's another place we need it, because remember, there's a. Oh, okay. Down that road. Yeah, it's leased. Down that one. Yeah. But that's not a big deal because it's only a couple. It's probably going to be like two hundred dollars a day to leave it. So we'll just store. Yeah. it. We'll store it until we need to return it. Because what I'll do is I'll 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 uh, use the plow and plow up that one area I did and then uh, put seed in it. Okay. So it looks so it looks right. Okay, that sounds good. So yeah, I'll leave it in there and then you can just yeah you'll have to plow it up because this doesn't cultivate or anything but it does seed. Okay. So all right, so that does it then, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode as we uh, still build our wealth. Mike is out there doing a good job harvesting and now we have grass planted for our horses when they arrive. Um, so we have a little bit of a game plan here and we use this Edelbrock cedar slash weeder uh, we're going to rent that and hold on to it for a little bit so have a great night be sure to subscribe thumbs up always help uh, mr micah you want to say good night good night guys thanks for watching simone you want to say good night good night good night